I'll probably have to yank the radiator or the grill, the guard. Oh, man, so much extra work. You see in there, it's the grill. Uh, so my father hit a tree or something. Something hit this and now it's rubbing on that hose. And uh, I might just have to cut, notch that piece out inside. So it's, I'll straighten the grill and bend it back out. But depending on how much room is in there, I might just notch part of that out. It's just uh, supports for that. I don't, I haven't, and I don't, you know, push trees with the grill. Look how much that's in. So I'll have to yank that off as well and fix that. The whole point of this is it's got a hydraulic leak underneath. I put it on the block so I can drop the pans. And uh, during washing, I realized that I had left the bolts on the track. So I got and climbed underneath and ended up hitting my head. Got a big old bruise on top of my head now. I barely hit it, but anyway, so these pans are just full of crap and it's been, I don't know, it's probably been a year, uh, maybe a year and a half. I know he pulled these off and cleaned them um, before he passed away. So I'm just really surprised at how much is in them. A lot of this material here is from pressure washing. The mud off the, the tracks and stuff it's something we do uh, a lot but it had quite quite a lot of build up on it so I don't know if the motor the hydraulic pump leaks I don't know so you can see down to the bottom now uh, I know that this was just recently replaced um, before he passed. Uh, I don't know what else could cause a leak down there, but I'm gonna put some oil in it and fire it up. See, I've gone and done this, put these things on to help with the rubbing. So I replaced, no, I didn't replace them. It, it, they weren't blown so don't replace something that's not blown but I know it had a big wear mark on it so I put those guards on but this I might just pull this off now but I'm afraid I, I gotta go do something with the driveway before the uh, mechanic just starts tearing up the driveway and uh, he, he starts a project and I, I just I'm supposed to be going somewhere right now and doing a job but I'm just gonna uh, put some oil in this and then uh, go uh, level out the driveway some and I know I, I, I hate doing it like that I, I just would rather just sit down and just do it all at once but I, I just there's just some things you just can't so does the other side have that on there I think it's still up at the, no, see, it's taken off too. So when I put the skid plates back on, I'll have to put this back on. It helps with the, uh, like when you're pushing, uh, well, not so much pushing dirt, but when you're pushing trees, I have to clear some roads out. I definitely would like that guard put back in. I have to look around for that. What was that? You tripped? You tripped? You got your four legs and you still tripped? Got the six home last night. So I brought the six home last night because the oil leak got worse. Um, it was a small drip drip. Now it's a good size uh, stream coming out of the hydraulic pump so 
I think uh, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, just see if any of the bolts are loose. And, uh, cause I, I keep, I was told that it's a new pump, so. So last night when I brought it home, I kind of cleaned out um, my little area here, moved the pans out of the way. And then uh, just kind of put it up there, chained the blade up so it'd stay up somewhat. I could see it sagged a lot. But uh, I wanted to get it, it, you know, in a position that I could do some work on it. Uh, so it's still not, still not the best. So as you can see, it's got oil everywhere. Uh, the mechanic uh, that took the pump off and replaced it, I guess, wasn't the mechanic that's here on the ranch. He actually moved to uh, Utah. Uh, so, because I was going to call him and have him, you know, pull the motor off. and, and uh, But he's gone. So, that that's out of the question now so I think what I gotta do is well what I want to do is just go rent a dozer and do everything I need to do see that's leaking there this is a hydraulic tank for uh, the hydraulics the blade the rippers and stuff like that and it comes out and from what I guess is this is a motor here But this here is another uh, motor, another pump, I guess. I'm, I'm, just, I'm still trying to figure this all out. So, because I haven't worked on it, you know, I haven't done anything to it. So, uh, this one's for the blade, that one's for the transmission is what the mechanic here on the ranch was telling me. That thing leaks like crazy. So. So, chances are I'm gonna have to uh, back it off of the blocks and set it on the ground pull all these plates off I mean I can't do anything with it right now anyway it leaks so bad that uh, yeah, I'm screwed so and it is a new motor I don't know why it's leaking as bad as it is but just my luck. So, I don't know what I did with my headphones. Of course, not all these are easy to get to. The worst thing is for me to do is for me to work on this because stuff. I'll tear it apart, but uh, when will I ever have time to put it back together? Okay, so what I'm going to try now is I put a bunch of transmission fluid in. Oh, I got no decelerator. So the bolts on the pump were loose. So I grabbed the socket wrench and tightened them up. Hopefully that was the problem. Uh, the mechanic doesn't, he would be surprised if that was the problem. Uh, he, he really thinks that the seals are shot on it. Now they, they very well could be, but hey, you know, I gotta try what I can try. So I put transmission fluid in it. I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna back it up. 
so it levels out and then we'll see if this thing's puking out any oil out of there if it's not puking any oil but see that's the thing it takes a while for it to start puking out uh, when the channy gets warmed up it'll start uh, pumping oil out but I'm hoping that just firing it up it'll have something come out if it still leaks um, so I'm gonna fire it up back it off the blocks and then uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll just roll off, but got to fire it up anyway. That's not, that's not my problem. Doggone it. So I gotta pull the hydraulic pump out, the transmission pump out, and get it rebuilt. I gotta pull the filter off because there's something behind that. I gotta pull the radiator grill off and, what a nightmare. I got tons of work. I don't need to be working on this thing. To be continued. Okay, so this morning I think I'll work on the six. Uh, I'm gonna pull the grill off the front radiator and pull the hose off, and then pull the hydro uh, the hydrostatic pump the the hydraulic pump the transmission pump. So pull the transmission pump off and go get that fixed. Yay! Watch, I'll forget I put it there. I do have to re reseal one of the cylinders. The tilt cylinder leaks. So I have to get in there and do that. I'm not going to do it right away. I got to get this thing up and running. Now nobody can start the cat because I'm going to take the pump off. I don't want somebody to come down and go, oh hey, there's a cat, I'm going to move it. Not that anybody would come down and start up the cat and move it, but you never know. Once in a while when they bring hay in, they move the equipment. So and I can't have anybody try and start this with no pump on. 
that would be horrible. Okay, so I just got to grab a wrench to get in here. I tried pressure washing that, but it's just not going to get it, you know. So just start taking things off bit by bit, and hopefully I'll get it all done. And take this other one off. Then I didn't even know how how to get the pump out. Do I drop it down the bottom? No, there's no room to drop it down the bottom. Let's see here. Do I gotta lift the roof? Oh man. There's no room for the thing to come out. Okay. There's gotta be a way to get that thing out. The thing is, is I might have to pull this this off to get the pump out. I, I don't know. Nobody. I thought the mechanic, the mechanic doesn't remember doing it. So we had hired another guy and he'd done a bunch of work to this thing. So, but he moved to Utah. So I, I don't have his number. I can't call him. I can't ask him what, what the junk is. And instead, I don't think he likes me that much anyway. So uh, it's not going to like i not going to get the answers I want out of them anyway, so. Um, I just have to just do piece by piece. I'll figure it out sooner or later. The problem is I want to figure it out. I want to go do something else. I want to go and do a job where I make money and hire somebody else to do this, but nobody wants to work on it. I, every, my whole life, it, whatever. That's why I know so much of the stuff that I do, because I can't get somebody to do it. So I have to learn how to do it so I can do it myself which is why I'm tired and worn out. Lazy. Get the camera in there just in case I forget which one goes where, but it, the hose, the sizes, it's pretty obvious where it goes where. But uh, yeah, I gotta pull those off, those four bolts out so I can um, have a little room to move that pump out of there. The odds of me dropping the bolts are really hot, so... Okay, so the long bolts go on the top one and the shorter ones go on the bottom. goes in the top left and the other ones go in the bottom right so about an hour ago I went home got some lunch coming back out to work on the six look at how windy it is it is it kind of got overcast got super windy dropped a, a lot in degrees I mean it's cold now I'm almost thinking of grabbing a jacket. Uh, but uh, Still haven't gotten the pump out. I ended up pulling the pins out to drop. I gotta pull that pin over there. I gotta pull this whole uh, thing out, the, the whole cross member, to get the pump out. That is the only thing I can see. The mechanic was talking about, you know, undoing the motor mounts and I'm like, what are you talking about? I, I'll just take this cross member out to see if I can get the pump out. Uh, so that just seems like the easiest. Um, but still, I'm struggling with trying to get it out. I gotta take the seat out. Some of these, some of these aren't 
uh, retracting. I can't get them to retract, so I gotta pull them off. So I turn the you know the GoPros on so I can see where they go. And then uh, yeah, I got one more pin to pull out, and then hopefully I'll have to finagle it around that cross that cross piece there because that's solid. And then hopefully once I get it past that, I'll be able to lift it up and out of there. Then I'll be able to get the pump out. I've been trying to shove it down, you know, shove all this down, but because the pins were in there, I, I'm not getting it to go up or down. And my knees are killing me from working on this thing. So, I mean, yeah, see, I don't know if there's something else underneath it that I don't see just yet but I can't get it to go up or down so what a pain in the butt and I got phone calls people are wondering where I'm at technically I wasn't supposed to be working on this but you know I, I got nothing I, well, I was gonna say I got no one else to work on this Super frustrating. I, you know, I just want to go, go to work. That's peachy. I've been fooling around with trying to figure out how to get this thing out. I put the bar on there and I, I ended up just leaning way back here and I was pushing. And it just didn't break free smoothly. It just was like, snap. I lunged forward and ran my chest right into the track. I hate working on equipment. Drop my other sock down on the under, underneath. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's it, and then I can pull the motor out, take the radiator or the front end hose off. It's stuck on. Okay. It only took a couple hours. Right? Now, this should be enough for me to get the motor out. I can't believe the steps you have to go through to get the motor in and out. Oh man. I would have never gotten it out if I didn't move that cross, cross member. There's no way I would ever have gotten it out. So this is the this is the transmission. So this is the pump for the transmission. Now I took some of these out. I don't know which ones they go back into. That doesn't seem right. That seems right. This one goes over here. I took these out thinking that they went all the way through. Okay, so these two on the bottom, and then there's two on the top. Right? Oh, I see. One just holds it. One just holds it in there, and the other one. So this thing takes two on the bottom. That doesn't go all the way through. So this pump just has two bolts. Wow, oh, that's crazy. I don't want to over tighten them. But anyway, there it is. It's out, finally. After 
four hours of working on this to finally get it out and gotten opinions from uh, a mechanic. Many, many suggestions. It's out. So, what he told me to do now is I got to take the die grinder and make some marks on this or stamp like a 1-1 one, one and a 2-2. Two, two. When they go to put this back together, that it's put back to, together properly, which you would think, how could they screw that up? But the mechanic says they can. If there's a will, there's a way. So, the O ring I've got. They told me don't get, don't use the O ring from the um, uh, from the bearing shop, go to Cat and get the O rings for it. But uh, I, whatever's in there, I don't know. So, what's going on is it's been puking oil out of these two seams right here. So, somewhere in there, there's a seal. I kind of want to pop it open and take a look myself just to see what was wrong. But I am so fed up of working on this that. I really, really got to go do something else. So, because I told somebody I was going to be at their place today, and like always, I'm not there because I'm doing something else. Hmm. I've got a pattern going on now, a theme. Okay. When I get to the job, I'm 100% devoted to that job and I'll do the job as fast as I can and help them save as much money as possible. The reason why this job here took priority over everybody else today is because we are not getting 100% of the water we have up there because of a mudslide I was unaware of that broke the main line and the hill shifted. So I was thinking of taking the mini excavator up the hill and just digging the trench with that, but I need to work on that as well. And it's such a long, lengthy, well, the mini excavator ain't gonna knock the trees down. There's trees in my way, there's a lot of trees down. It, there's just a lot of stuff against me this year. So I just have to pick my battles and just go with it so okay i'm gonna pull the hose off the front end because i'm taking this in tomorrow and i'm taking in the hose and hopefully hopefully that's it okay through what the heck jeez that's not what I expected it's all the way through or something down to the bottom that's a trip I don't want to do that what a trip oh this thing it's I know I've taken parts off of this before you know and worked on it with my father but geez I don't remember how much work it was. Ooh. I was actually gonna try to get talk Julian to let me get a tractor to restore, but after doing all this crap, I don't think I want to. I got my own tractor to restore now. I don't have to worry about trying to purchase one and restoring it. Holy crap, that's not good. Okay, I gotta get something to shove in that hole before garbage falls in there. Crap. There's a hole. I don't know what in that. Okay. Just 
this one out. There we go. Don't push trees with the rate with the radiator grill. Thankfully the radiator isn't damaged. I can't tell you how many times we've pulled this thing out and had it replaced. Uh, one too many, I tell you that. One too many. You gotta pull this filter off because back behind there it's leaking oil, motor oil. So I have to. There's a lock washer down there, but it's broken half. I wonder where that went. I don't remember pulling a half washer off. Great. get a new one of these tomorrow I tried pressure washing all this but for some reason I missed I missed a lot of it better I still can't see what's wrong Leaking from the hard line. I have no freaking idea how or why. I just don't know. You know, if you if you you're trained and you know how to work on it, it's one thing. You kind of have an idea of what to expect. But shh, I'm flying blind here, man. Flying blind. So this hose leaks. I don't know if it's got a hole in it. I don't know if the seal's bad. I just don't know. So the only thing I do know is that I have to take it off. No, I'll take that one. That one's not a problem though. I like to use your tools, but I hate it when it comes to this, you know, like when it's so close to the... That's a important part. Important 
motor part. You just don't want to stir with the wrench. I guess you'd call me, it'd be called being impatient. I am very impatient. Okay. Well, I know this side, yeah, I gotta get a new gasket. I gotta get a lot of stuff for this. I know this side wasn't the problem. But I didn't know what I needed to do. Fudge. Oh, it just never ends. I just keep going and going. Ow. Now what the 